everyone. It is Lee and June and Grandma Jean. Now we're gonna wait because it doesn't say anybody's on yet. Actually, it says two. Oh, hi, Fred. <laughs> uh, it says two people are watching so far. So we're gonna give them. Oh, now four people are watching. See the little number up in the corner? Can you yes. see? <laughs> no, I can't see it, but yes, it's there. Okay, oh, nine people now. So we'll give everybody, oh, 13. We'll give everybody, um, oh, we need more than 13. 13's an unlucky number. Oh, 18. Okay, okay let's so go. <laughs> that little number tells everybody, or tells me that people can see us. Oh, and now okay. we're gonna try and see if we can see comments. Oh, hi, Susan. So we see Susan and Linda, hello. Let me see, Deborah. Hi, Deborah Banks, how are you? And Karen, hello, Karen. Okay, so. Uh, you are joining Gnome and Backyard with Lee and Grandma Jean tonight. Um, I was lucky enough to get a special guest to come oh, down yes. Yes. <laughs> and help me out. Um, actually, I tricked Grandma Jean just a little bit. Um, this is Grandma Jean's tear tray, and this is her favorite tear tray. She absolutely loves it. I think it's beautiful, too, and I do love the sunflowers. We made this last year. Um, but I told her it's time to make a different one and let's do a different one for all of the summer holidays. We've got Memorial Day, 4th of July, and Labor Day. So I did talk her into making a new tear tray for herself. We um, need one for every holiday, one for apparently. Me. But the, <laughs> but this one will do us good for the whole summer. Oh, okay. So once you make this one, you're good for the whole summer. Okay. And then maybe uh, a new one for, well, then we could do the sunflowers back out and then one for Christmas. Oh, absolutely, definitely. But what we did was I actually showed up at Grandma Jean's house with four bags of the clothespins from the Dollar Tree. And you do get 36 in a bag. And I asked Grandma Jean to paint how many of them? We're 120. Would you believe they don't come painted? <laughs> no, they don't. Um, and I asked you to paint just a few more than your, your years of being on this planet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> Grandma Jean turned 91 in March. And um, I asked her to paint 120. Uh, clothespins. So she did, was it 40? 40, 40, 40? It's 40 of each color. And red, white, and blue. So she just used our regular acrylic paints, red, white, and blue. And how many coats did you need to give them? Well, actually, the white was the hardest to cover. You had to put uh, two coats, but I only did it on the top because you're going to see the top the I most. Can't see comments, but I, don't I want know. you to note they are painted on each side. And inside. So, yes. you have to paint your, let me get a different one. You have to paint your clothespins, every little inch of them, even on the inside, except when you pinch it open, you don't really need to do that part because you won't see that part there. Let's see, hi Cindy, how are you? Hi Susan Simpson. Oh, Grandma Jean looks awesome. Oh, thank you. Hi Paula and Jack A and Heather, how are you? Uh, evening ladies, happy belated birthday. Oh, thank you very, very much. Let's see, Karen, hello Karen, how are you? Uh, let's see, Patty says, I love Noman Backyard. Oh, so do I. So do we. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, the other item that we need uh, for our tear tray were these um, covers for your stove, your stove top covers, and they come two in a pack at the Dollar Tree. And they do carry these year round. So this is gonna be a good craft for you. You should definitely, hi Gloria, you should definitely be able to find all of your um, uh, materials that you need. They carry the clothespins year round. They carry these um, covers for your stove year round. This one was, I thought these were really pretty actually. Uh, live every moment with joy and laughter. So you have two different sizes. We're gonna use this bigger one for our bottom. And, oh, I think you better get started. Oh, all right. <laughs> and we're gonna use this one for our small one. Let's see, Judy says, hi, Grandma Jean. Hi, first, Judy. First time I get to see y'all live, Noman Backyard as well. Oh, great, Judy, we're so happy. So, what Grandma Jean is doing with the smaller um, cover is she is actually taking all of her clothespins and just 
putting them right, we'll do red, white, blue. She's doing the pattern of red, white, and blue, and she's just going right around the rim, right around the rim of this, uh, this lid. So she's gonna go red, white, and blue all the way around. It really was a lot of fun painting them. I mean, it gave me something to do. It was very calm and relaxing. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make one for my house now, no, too. So, no. uh, if you had that much fun doing it, um, <laughs> you can have mine. Oh, okay. Hi, Susan. Susan says, love watching Grandma Jean. Oh, <laughs> let's see. Cat Stone. Hi, Cat. How are you? Oh, Cat gives us lots of hearts from Nebraska. Oh. She is from Nebraska. Oh, how wonderful. And Gabrielle is watching. Hi, Gabrielle. Um, my daughter's name is Gabrielle, also. And actually, her birthday is July 2nd, so we really do like to celebrate the 4th of July in our family, and we really like to decorate for it. So this, this tiered tray is going, uh, is going to look really pretty. Let's see, Paula. Hello, Paula. Paula says hello, Grandma Jean. Hi, Paula. Uh, the other items that we used, I did use this uh, pillar candle from the Dollar Tree. Now, you could use a vase. Um, and I did have a couple vase options, but I didn't like, one vase was too short, the other vase was, oh, hi Sherry, oh Sherry, let's see, I am here, Sherry, um, the crafty decorator, who is my friend, is on, and if you have not seen Sherry's page yet, you have to go check her out, she's the crafty decorator, and she just does some ab absolutely fabulous, fabulous crafts, from hand. Um, she's a very good sewer and she does some beautiful, beautiful crafts. So check out the Crafty Decorator. Um, let's see. I agree with Grandma Jean on painting is relaxing. Kat says painting is y relaxing. Yes, it is. It's very relaxing. Yep. Let's see. Oh, Gloria, Melissa, Carol. First time watching from upstate New York. Oh, hi, Carol. How are you? Hi, Anne Marie. Anne Marie, um, that I used to work with, is oh. watching. She says, hi, Grandma Jean. Hi. <laughs> so we did use this pillar candle, like I said, but you can use a vase. Um, you could use anything that, that you would like, but I did like the way this did end up working out. And what I did, I'll jump ahead. What I did with the pillar candle was, oh, let's see, Kat is getting over her second shot Oh, it hit you hard. Oh, Kat, I'm sorry to hear that. I'm really sorry to hear that. Um, Grandma Jean had both her shots, and let me tell you, we call her <laughs> Mountain Woman. Woman. Mountain Woman. <laughs> oh, she's one tough little lady. Uh, she did not have any side effects, <laughs> thank goodness, to her shot. No, I um, To either one. She had the Pfizer shots. Yes. And... <clears throat> I stayed with her after both her shots. We Excuse had a surprise me. sleepover. We, <laughs> My daughter and granddaughter came to keep me company, and it was wonderful. We had popcorn, we watched TV. Uh, I have a wonderful family, I really do. Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't taking any chances, and because she had her shot at around 12.30 in the afternoon, and I just wasn't taking any chances. So uh, we took her home, I went back home, grabbed my daughter, grabbed our jammies and blankets, and we spent the night with Grandma Jean just to make sure that everything was okay. Uh, let's see, Kat says, that's good to hear. So yeah, Grandma did not have any, any problems at all. So what I did with the pillar candle was, I actually took and wrapped it in the nautical rope, nautical rope or jute from the Dollar Tree. And for this project, I did need two and a half uh, packages of the rope. So what I did was, I just hot glued it at the very bottom and we did this ahead of time because we know everybody's busy. It's a Sunday night. We're all getting ready for work the next morning. But I, um, let's see, my late father used to have a paintbrush in his hands all summer long out in the yard. So anytime my mom asked him to do, oh, I can't see. Anytime my mom, oh, I'm missing that. I'm gonna have to go back to that. 
Oh, anytime my mom asked him to do something, he would say, not now. <laughs> I'm fainting. <laughs> oh, okay, Jeanette, that is a good one. I love it. Jeanette, that. that's a good one. She said that her late father used to have a paintbrush in his hand all summer long when he was out in the yard. So that anytime um, her mom asked him to do something, he would say, not now, I'm painting. I, I love that, it. and I hope my husband doesn't see that because he'll do the same thing. That was really cute. I absolutely <laughs> love that. Uh, okay, so back, back to our candle. All we did was just wrap the entire thing in jute because this is going to be the center of our tear tray. And we also use it for an accent piece. So Grandma Jean, we actually already did this one before we came live because 120 clothespins, hot glue in each one. Um, yeah, that would have taken a long time. So this is going to be so there you can see that um, that's the bottom, the bottom large tray. And we put our clothespins all the way around. And then we took the jute rope and I just hot glued it where you see the, um, where you see the clothespin, the silver part of the clothespin there. We wanted to cover that up. So that is what we covered it up with, with the, the jute rope. Now this, guys, this actually, and I like the fact that it's white inside. I'm not going to do anything with that. This actually is really cute as a bowl. Yes, you so can, they, you yeah, can actually, have two different sizes. Yeah, you can actually use these as a bowl. You don't have to make them into a tear tray. But that, that's really cute. I really do like that. So let's see. I'll show them next how we actually did glue everything on. And you can hold that. Let's see who else is here. Uh, Sharon, what are you using as the base? Sharon, as the base, we grabbed these um, stove covers from the Dollar Tree, and you get two in a pack. And this is what they say, like, uh, this is what they look like when they're hanging on the wall in the kitchen section of the Dollar Tree, and that is what we're using. We're just using these. This will be on the bottom, and you won't see it, and so that's what... Grandma Jean just um, pinched all of the clothespins to. So that's what we're using for the base. Oh, my comments are not scrolling. Let's see. Um, did you paint the clothespins? Yes. You missed that in the beginning, Audrey. Grandma Jean had to paint 120 clothespins. I painted them. She painted them. 120. 120 clothespins, um, and she actually did say to me, what do you mean, these don't come painted already? They don't come in colors? And I said, no, what do you want for a dollar? You know, for a dollar, you're getting a pack of 36 clothespins at the Dollar Tree. No, they're not gonna come painted for a dollar. No. So, um, took, took Grandma Jean a little while this morning to paint them, but she just said it was relaxing, and she enjoyed it, so. I think she's going to do 120 more for, for my house now, so I can make one. Why not? Okay. Let us move on. Let's see. So what you're going to want to do to, and I'm not going to do it all right now, but what you're going to want to do, put your clothespins on first, just so that, you know, you're putting them on here. You make sure that they, they line up pretty good and you don't have a big space left um, open or too small of a space uh, where you can't fit, I come, it's where you can't fit them. Okay, there we go, we're scrolling now. Hi Lucy, hi Connie, uh, Diane says awesome job. There we go, hi Judy. So once you actually placed all your clothespins on, red, white, and blue, and you know what guys, if you don't wanna do red, white, and blue for 4th of July or Memorial Day, use whatever color theme you want. If your home is done in black and white, um, that would look really pretty, a black and white. Um, actually, black, white, and yellow would look really nice for the summer. And then yeah. you could add the lemons into it, or you could do uh, bumblebees are, are uh, very popular. Right, Sherry? I think you made some really cute bumblebees on your page. Um, so re uh, white, black, and yellow would look really nice for lemons, bumblebees. So you can actually just take this and... Um, Change it up any way you want, but we decided to go with the 4th of July. Christine, hi girls, love the crafts you both do together. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, let's see, Jeanette says, outstanding paint job, Grandma Jean. Thank you very <laughs> much. Anytime, I'm uh, available. Let's see, Audrey, so you can change them. 
Um, yeah, actually, if you didn't want to glue these on, you could let them go like this because they are pretty secure and you could change them out. However, I'm going to glue that rope on there because I want to hide, I want to hide this part that's going through. So, um, I won't be able to take mine, take mine apart. Patty, that is beautiful, Grandma Jean. That would look even more beautiful in my house <laughs> if you want to send it my way. <laughs> well, it, it would even be nice in a, in a child's room if you, she liked pink and purple. And she could always throw her little odds and ends in there from her hair or whatever. And oh, yeah. it would be very, very... Uh, in your bathroom, it looks yes, nice. Yes. yes, lots for your little very versatile. versatile. Very, we, we are very versatile here at Noman Backyard. Uh, let's see, uh, Mary Gavin, your grandma is sweet. Thank Mary, you. Mary, I'm gonna actually tell you um, tell you a little bit something. This is my mom. It's not my grandma. <laughs> and no, well, that's true. No, yeah. this is my mom, but everybody calls her Grandma Jean. Because um, when I had my daughter 22 years ago, yes, thank you, I know, I, I don't look that, no. Um, <laughs> when I had my daughter 22 years ago, I stayed at my job. And my mom helped me out tremendously uh, by watching my daughter for me when I went to work every day and my husband went to work every day. So then as my daughter got older and she had... Uh, piano lessons and dance lessons and golf lessons and um, gymnastics, piano, gymnastics, and and voice, voice. So my mom would, uh, you know, pick her up from school for me, take her to her lesson uh, when I couldn't, when I had to work. Uh, I worked long hours, so all of the other moms knew. Oh, Mary says your mom is beautiful. Thank you, Mary. So all the other moms just knew her as Grandma Jean. Um, you know, they, they, all the young moms had their little group and they welcomed Grandma Jean in, you know, with open arms. So she was always known as Grandma Jean uh, for the last 22 years of my daughter growing up. And it's just something that stuck with us. So that's why I introduced her as Grandma Jean to everybody. And, you know, she's your, she could be your grandma too. She, she's, yes, she's a wonderful mom, a wonderful grandma, and she, she would love to be your grandma too. Uh, enough. Let's get back to our project. <laughs> okay. So what you want to do to secure these on, if you'd like to. Hi, Leah and Grandma Jean from Southeast Texas, spreading oh, the wow. love. Thank you. Great. All you really have to do is just pinch your clothespin open and just put a little bit of hot glue just on one side on the bottom and just place it back on your tray. So that's why I said to line all these up first and then you're gonna just pull them up one at a time, put a little bit of hot glue, and put your clothespin right back in place, just like that. So everything is still gonna line up. You're, you know, if you try to hot glue them first without them being lined up, I'm afraid that um, you might have a space that's either too big or too small and I'm not gonna do all of them, but you might have a space that's either too big or too small, but that's all you do. Uh, I have to go now, thank you for sharing. I will finish watching you later. Okay, Patty, we will see you later. And the uh, side of the clothespin that had the glue on it, I, I put on the inside. So when I pinched it open, the side that has the glue just went on the inside. And you know, you can't see it, see it at all. And then, all we're gonna do, which I won't finish doing actually, all we would do is we are going to put the, um, the rope right around here to cover up this line that you could see. And then that goes on the bottom because it's bigger. I'm just gonna show them the, the rope. Oh, okay. Well, Grandma Jean wants everybody to see the rope one more time. And let's see, hi Grandma Jean and Lee from Sas uh, Saskatchewan. Canada. Oh, Hello, Wendy. Wow. How are you? Quite a ways. I do want everybody to use E6000 for this so that it does stay in place and it's uh, very secure. I am just going to do it right now temporarily with my hot glue so that I'll be able to hopefully pick it up and show you when it's done. But E6000, it's a really good glue to use. Um, 
it uh, it's a really nice adhesive it dries clear you can get it at uh, Hobby Lobby I believe Walmart um, maybe even Home Depot not sure but it, it dries clear and it's very sturdy so what you would do is you would put your E6000 around the base right here and then just put it right in the middle of your tray and let it sit for at least 24 hours Jeanette says so glad I found your site you are special people and can see uh, the love come through the camera thank you both Lee and Grandma Jean oh that's so thank sweet you. oh thank you so much um, well you know you only have you only get one family you only get one mom one dad one daughter or son well I guess you could have more than that I only have one daughter <laughs> but um yeah family has to stick together so I'm really happy that all of you are actually a part of the gnome and backyard family. So we are just going to stick this right in the center. Again, use E6000 so it's secure. Um, let's see, I had a, a Grandma Peggy that painted and crafted with me. Oh, Sue, that's awesome. That is awesome. Betty, love this. It is so sweet to see you all do the things together. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Betty. Okay, so then all you're going to do is take your E6000 again, put it right around the top of your, and I'm not going to do that because I want to finish um, securing this and put the rope on it, but you're just going to put your E6000 on the top of your candle there and put this on, and this is done. Now, let's see, Grandma Jean and Lee from Savannah, Illinois, love your projects they are so cool looking oh thank you cindy we're so glad that you found gnome and backyard so like i said when this is finished we will take a little bit more rope and hot glue it around the top and i will post a picture of the finished product but i know like i said everybody's busy and we didn't want to take too much time <laughs> if we had to be here from start to finish <laughs> painting uh painting all of our clothes pins it would be hours no. everybody would have their jammies on by the time we're done <laughs> but this gives you a little bit of an idea this would be hot glued right to the top and the rope goes right around there and then you could add anything let's see you could add anything to your tear tray maybe a little flower on the top maybe a cute of course since we're gnome in backyard a cute patriotic gnome hello from montgomery pa hello connie connie we are also in pa put a cute little gnome down the bottom we have our cute little patriotic gnome and now oh he had, look how cute he looks he does he actually looks so sweet it looks like he is um peeking over a fence i love that that's really cute Janet says, grandmothers tried teaching me crocheting and knitting, and I was lousy at it. Oh, <laughs> I can't crochet or knit either, and neither can Grandma Jean. No, my so. mother tried to teach me to bake, and no way could I. Let's see. I sure like this idea, Christina says. Miss Jean, you have more patience than I can muster. Um, let's see, maybe a grand, grand kitty will help. Yeah, I mean, this is great for the kids or the grandkids. So what if they get their hands a little dirty, a little messy with the paint? You know what? It's paint. It washes off. That's, this would, hey, this would keep them busy, guys, for hours. For the summer. It would keep them so busy for hours. Mindy says, hi, Lee. I just say you. Um, I just saw you were live. I'll watch the replay. But that project looks so cute. Um, your grandmother is so sweet. Yeah, I know. I'm mix. I'm confusing everybody by calling you Grandma Jean. No, but that's okay. I have to. I'll be here anybody. And my dad. Um, my dad. We would call him Papa before he passed. We would call him. He was Papa and your yeah, Grandma Jean yeah. to anybody in the whole family. So we stick with that. About how many clothespins do you need? You need 120, exactly. Exactly, yes. 40 red, 40 white, and 40 blue. Yes. Unless you're gonna go with your own color theme, then you go for it. So that would be three and a half packages of the um, clothespins from the Dollar Tree. So let's see, three and a half, so that was $4. The trays were five. The candle was six, seven, eight, nine. So, so about $9 here. Um, and all the items are items from the Dollar Tree that they carry year-round. I might have to spray paint 
the clothespins. You know what? You can spray paint the clothespins. Um, Grandma Jean just really likes to help out with projects. And so we just went for it. I said, hey, what you doing today? You feel like you feel like helping Noman Backyard out and painting? And she said, of course I do. So um, it might be a little hard to spray paint them because you have to reach inside and there are four sides to a clothespin. Yeah, so, so well. I think it, it would be faster just to sit and paint. Okay, let's see. So this is our this is our project for tonight that we wanted to show everyone. And let's see. Do you think a paint bath would work for the clothespins? You know what, Kat? I don't know. Sherry, are you still watching? Sherry, did you ever do a paint bath before with wood items? If you're still watching, maybe you could uh, respond to Kat. Kat, I don't know, but we'll find out. We'll get back to you on that one. Um, the last thing that I just did want to mention is... I am really hoping, guys, that um, tomorrow or the next day, I am going to push a little button on my computer and my website for Noman Backyard is going to be live. I love that I have got all the stuff for one, um, but couldn't decide what color to do. Oops. Couldn't decide what color to do. Yours won't fall down like that because you're going to use E6000 and glue it. I just didn't glue mine on yet. Um, but back to... Uh, hopefully gnome in backyard. Let's see. How do you make the gnome? Actually this gnome I purchased at Hobby Lobby But we are going to make some patriotic gnomes um, If you didn't see my live maybe two nights ago I showed you a lot of items from Dollar Tree one or two from Hobby Lobby that if you see them You might want to grab them to make gnomes with um, There were hats there were beards. We could use bows as beards We there were quite a few fun things from Dollar Tree that you can use to make your gnomes. Oh, hi, Tanya, my girlfriend, how are you? Making clay gnomes again today. Tanya, I hope it goes better than yesterday's. <laughs> um, but yeah, this, this little guy I did buy at Hobby Lobby. So, um, but I'm, again, one last time, I'm just hoping, I'll let you guys know if my website uh, does go live. I'm hoping tomorrow I push the button and, and it goes live. And this cute little shirt right here is gonna be for sale on it. Uh, I have a few flags, garden flags, known garden flags, a few other items. Um, love the tear tray, joining so late. Yes, Watt, you're gonna have to watch the replay. Um, we have two really pretty, pretty wreath fillers. Uh, one is a gnome in a pickup truck and the other is a bumblebee. So I'll let you know when the site goes live. Um, we also have a blog on there and Grandma Jean has her own piece of the blog. Oh, it's going to be in the kitchen with Grandma Jean. And we have one of her recipes up so far. We have her salmon croquette recipe up, but we're gonna work on getting her fudge, her rice pudding, and then some brand new recipes up. Hi, Iris, how are you? Let's see. Um, I didn't, were Sherry's friend very cool? Uh, it says live now. Yes, um, actually Sherry and I have known each other for about uh, 30 <clears throat> years, uh, just, you know, don't want to give away our ages, but Sherry and I have known each other for about 30 years. Um, she's a fabulous, fabulous friend, and she actually lives a stone's throw away from me, so uh, I live here, Grandma Jean is up the road in the middle of us, and then Sherry's up a little further, so um, yeah, but if uh, you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about Sherry, the crafty decorator, so you guys check out her page. Um, she does wonderful, wonderful handmade but did, items. But did you notice she doesn't want to give away her age, but my <laughs> age, she just gives out very freely <laughs> while being at Hoover Dam, and they happen to say to her, Hoover Dam is 80 years old. And what did my daughter say on the spur of the moment? Oh my God, my mother's older than Hoover Dam. <laughs> You okay. know what? I'm very proud <laughs> of the fact. I tell everybody your age because I'm so proud of the fact of, of what a wonderful 91 you are. Yeah, I am. You're I active. Too. She still drives. Um, she gives me a, 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 she keeps me in line. Let's just put it that way. So that's why I do tell everybody your age because I'm just so proud of you. Well, so. thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All right. Okay, everybody. Have a good night. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in, and we will catch you next time on Noman Backyard. Okay. Good night, and thank you very much for watching. Bye-bye.